Here we would like to demonstrate how to recalibrate a PC USB oscilloscope. The second generation PC USB oscilloscopes from Verdon's technology support recalibration. Recalibration is generally not required for a VTDSO, but if your organization standard requires it to be recalibrated on regular basis, then it can be done. The recalibration includes gain and offset adjustment for each voltage measuring range of each input channel. Here we take VTDSO 2810 as an example to show you how to recalibrate a VTDSO. We need a digital multimeter and a signal source to calibrate the gain. For measuring range equal to or lower than plus minus 2 volts, the signal generator built in the VTDSO can be used to generate the reference voltage. For voltage measuring range greater than plus minus 2 volts, an external voltage source is required. Here we are going to show you how to conduct recalibration for the voltage measuring range of plus minus 2 volts for both channel A and channel B. Let's connect the output of the signal generator to the input of channel A and channel B first. Open the signal generator panel of the software and generate a 1 kHz sine wave. Its amplitude is 1 volt. But the current voltage measuring range of the oscilloscope is plus minus 50 volts, that's why we nearly cannot see the sine wave. So, let's click the auto setting button, now the oscilloscope switched to the measuring range of plus minus 2 volts. As you can see from the screen, the two waveforms measured by the two channels do not match very well. Now, we follow the recalibration procedure described in the hardware manual to recalibrate this particular voltage measuring range. A sampling rate of 100 kHz and a sampling bit resolution of 16 are recommended. During the recalibration, we will need to see the mean values of both channels. They are displayed on the top of the oscilloscope graph. But here we want to make the display bigger so that we can see them clearly in this video. Open the DDP viewer, and select the mean value for channel A. Open another DDP viewer, and select the mean value for channel B. Now, go to Setting, Calibration, Advanced, to bring out the Advanced Calibration dialog box. Then select plus minus 2 volts for channel A. We do offset calibration first. So, connect each probe tip to its ground lead to short the input to the ground. Start the oscilloscope. As you can see, the offset voltage for channel A is about 31 mini volts. This is not close enough to zero. So we decrease the value in the offset box. The mean value of channel A decreases accordingly.
we can adjust the number of decimal places in the DDP viewer so that we can see even smaller number. OK, this is the closest value to zero, so click right to persist the change. Now, do the same thing for channel B. If the process is too slow, we can enter the value directly instead of changing it one by one. OK, this is the best we can get. Persist it in the hardware. Now, we are going to do the gain calibration. Connect the input of the channel A and channel B to the output of the signal generator, and measure the output DC voltage using the multimeter. A 1 kHz is 3.3 volts square wave is detected in the oscilloscope. This is because, when the signal generator is not running, by default, it will output a probe calibration signal. We can disable it. Stop the oscilloscope first, then go to setting, DAC device, and uncheck the probe calibration signal output. Start the oscilloscope again, now, the probe calibration signal is gone. Select DC coupling for both channel A and channel B. Now we can generate a DC voltage of 1.9 volts from the signal generator. We choose 1.9 volts because is close the full scale range to be calibrated. Using a too small voltage will affect the calibration accuracy while using a voltage too close to the full scale voltage may suffer from clipping error. The multimeter shows 1.8944 volts. So we need to adjust the gain for both channels such that the measured voltage is to be the closest to the multimer display. There are two gain adjustment boxes. Generally gain box provides finer adjustment than gain DB box. Select channel A, adjust the gain box. OK, this is the closest value we can get. Persist the changes in the hardware. Then adjust the gain for channel B OK.
this is the best value we can get, save it in the hardware. Now, we have finished recalibration for the plus minus 2 volts for channel A and channel B. Let's see how the two channels match with each other. We are going to generate a 1 kHz sine wave from the signal generator. So, select sine wave. Set the DC offset to 0. Set the amplitude to 1 volt. As you can see, the two waveforms match very well with each other. The calibration is perfectly done. It should be noted that, hardware-based gain and offset calibration is a feature supported by second-generation VTDSOs. It is superior to software-based methods in that, the ADC dynamic range is not affected by the calibration. Please make sure that software-based offset adjustment or zeroing, which is a supported by multi-instrument, is disabled in this case. You can go to setting, calibration, and make sure that the input DC offset for both channels is 0%.